there everybody welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to continue with the uh, pdf and cdf uh, distributions and in this video i'm considering the continuous random variable and we are going to look at the relationship between the probability density function and the cumulative distribution function so you know this is the probability density function right how uh, CDF and PDF are related as uh, let us consider here so we as we saw this is the height so let me just give a quick uh, you know recap of uh, what these distributions are and what what they denote and all so let us consider this is uh, you know the the x-axis denote the heights these are the heights of any uh, be it a male or female in any city town or any, in any uh, population so this is uh, the distribution of height uh, in any region we, when we notice this uh, cumulative distribution function this is just uh, you know a cumulative distribution of uh, the density function so when we consider 165 it may be we can see that it's 0 0.5 so what what it means that is uh, 165 is, is the 50 per 50th percentage of uh, you know 50 percentage of uh, the population is almost covered when we consider the uh, probability density function so that is what it means so it's like it denotes the 50 percent of the population that means most of the you know population has the height uh, uh, around 165 and we know that this is the mean uh, in because since this is a normal distribution this is the normal distribution so it, it's clear that uh, it, it's it's 50 percent like whenever we mean 50 percent we have accumulated 50 percent of the population so when when we reach here in the cumulative distribution function we ha it's like we have accumulated 50 percent of the population so when we like totally uh, cover everything so it's gonna be one right so we are like it's it's the hundred percent of the population it's it's gonna be one so that is what uh, cumulative distribution uh, function uh, actually indicates so let us just uh, look uh, deep into what uh, you know how how these two distributions can be related so when i say uh, whenever whenever we consider a point over here if we if we, if we like want to find the number of uh, people having the height 165 we are like you know interested in finding the number of people whose height is you know around 165 so what what we can do is we can just take uh, the gradient we can take the gradient over here so gradient in the sense like we are going to differentiate gradient is nothing but differentiation differentiation so what what we can do is we can differentiate so let us suppose the points here are uh, you know in, in the x axis let it be 164 and here 166 and in the y axis let this be 0 0.46 and let this be 0 0.5 so the accurate points are you know it's, it's taken from excel um we are just taking considering this as an example okay so uh, if we are going to find take the gradient of this what we can do is it's it's uh, it's actually the difference right so how how can we do that is 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 divided by 166 minus 164 so this is going to be the um, you know the slope or the gradient we're gonna find this is gonna be around 0 0.1 0 0.08 sorry 0 0.08 over 2 so this is gonna be 0 0.04 so what we what we can uh, you know uh, depict from here is we are getting 0 0.04 so we mean that 0 0.04 uh, is the value we are getting and uh, just just look look over here so at 165 at 165 what we what we mean is 0.04 is the uh, probability density you know the density functions value over 165 so we are getting the probability density functions value at 165 so at 165 uh, the you know the, the the density value of the people uh, in the heights of 165 is obtained so also whenever you know uh, we're going to find uh, the probability you know the continuous uh, random uh, variables uh, values from the probability density function what we can do is we can just integrate it because it's it's over a curve right so if 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 it's like 
you're gonna you're gonna find the the app from at still 165 or it let it be till 165 if you're gonna if you're gonna uh, get this since this is a cumulative thing right so we're gonna find it. so what we can do is we can just accumulate it over till 165 so that will be the cumulated value uh till 165 right so that will be the cumulated value to 165 cumulative in the sense that we are like continuously adding it so continuously adding is the integration integration so when we integrate over in the probability density function we are going to get the the cumulative distribution uh, functions values so generally it is like the the relationship between the probability density function and the cumulative distribution function is the integration and the differentiation so whenever we we are like you know uh, uh, the prob the probability density function is denoted by f of x and the cumulative distribution function is denoted by capital f of x okay so if we are like going to uh, derive probability density function from the cumulative distribution function what we're going to do is we are going to differentiate it over x so this is going to get us the the you know the probability density function so we are if we are going to get the cumulative distribution function from the, pro from the probability density function what we can do is we can integrate it over minus infinity infinity f of x dx so this is gonna get us the cumulative uh, distribution function so this is basically the relationship between uh, you know the probability density function and the cumulative distribution function so uh, the the cumulative distribution function is nothing but a continuous summation uh, in the probability density function because since it's a normal distribution the you know we are just continuously accumulating or adding it adding up the, all the values in the curve so this is going to yield us the cumulative distribution function and we and when we are considering the cumulative distribution function if we are going to uh, you know know the probability density value we are we're just going to take the gradient so you know more uh, when when we look into the cumulative distribution function more the gradient you know more the gradient you know if if the gradient is like this and if the gradient and, and, and suppose if the gradient is like this so when we say when the gradient is you know more uh, steeper we're going to have more of the values or the more of the density uh, lying over in this uh, uh, say in in the height of 165 if it's you know more uh, you know more flatter so in this case we can see it's more flatter we want, when we mean that in 190 there's no more uh, people you know there's not much of people that are, that are you know lying uh, uh, more or uh, around in 1190 So that is what it means. So more, more steeper the curve is, more the values uh, of, uh, you know, more the denser the value or the uh, the population's values, more uh, denser the values are, uh, and more of the people are lying in that specific value. So that is what it means. More flatter the curve is, the the less number of people are you know lying in that uh, specific. Curve. value or the or in this case it's the height or uh, in 190 cm so that is it uh, in this video guys we just saw the uh, the simple relationship between the probability density function if we want to get we want to get this we are going to we're going to just integrate it and then if we are given the cumulative distribution function if we are going to find the uh, probability density function what we're going to do is we will be just going to differentiate So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much and if you like this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.